All right, guys, back again with more updates um, on my 1991 Bounder Motorhome with the low speed shifting problems that we've been trying to diagnose. Uh, if you watched my last video, um, even though I was told the codes wouldn't read, I got the codes to read. I've got a throttle position sensor, low voltage, uh, even though I've already changed the throttle position sensor. So the next easiest thing um, that I researched to find to do before is clean the intake, all the throttle components here. Make sure those butterflies are returning back. There's no gunk or gook stuck in them. So um, did that today while I was down here. Uh, I put a new cap rotor and wires on. Um, let me see if I can get this into focus because as I was looking at doing some of this stuff, I ended up running across this. Nice little rodent chew marks in one of my plug wires. So I thought rather than take a chance, um, that thing could probably arc off um, with that insulation gone. And then let's look at the other end. Oopsie. Got some breakage there too. So went ahead and got another set of wires. Got a cap, got a rotor put them on boy what a pain in the ass that is so what we're going to do hopefully later on today is after i finish um cleaning out this i've got uh going to spray it uh one more time maybe two more times just to make sure wipe it out get all the gunk out um and everything um then we're going to start it up and see if that code does not clear um it, they i might even try to erase the codes and then run it again to see if the code pops back up and if it does um, we definitely have a problem I've got to check the wire um, there's some nice videos up there on how to do this uh, the one guy said it's very touchy you can cross accidentally cross the wires and short out your ECM so that's kind of a scary thought but um, need to check the voltage uh, on the wires and make sure we got the proper voltages going um, you can even check the resistance and everything um, first things first though uh, clean this make sure this is clean um, and then uh, go back through start it up see if that doesn't solve the problem they said that's one of the most common problems is build up in the butterflies and the butterflies don't shut all the way so therefore you get some false readings so um, you know, not holding much high confidence for this stuff, but, uh, you know, we go through it one step at a time. I learn a lot on the YouTube videos. Um, thanks for all the mechanics out there who post this stuff, uh, to let us backyard <laughs> shade tree guys get this done. And if you ever have to do plug wires or change the plugs out on your 1991 Bounder Motor Home with the Ford 460, um, get a helper and, uh, jack it up and pull the wheels off and do it the easy way. I crawled up underneath and did this all by myself and um, I was underneath in the fender well and then back up on top of the engine. So um, get a helper. All right, guys, good luck. Post if you have any uh, more suggestions or comments, other things that I might try while I'm uh, trying to solve this issue. Thank you.